Hello everyone, uh, welcome. We're going to be uh, walking through the exercise, not the access part of the exercise, but the, the setup of the exercise for this week. Um, I wanted to record this video just to help you out so that you have you have it, you can watch it again if you, if you need to understand a few of the concepts. So let's get started here. I got my, the table that I'm going to work with uh, to make a relational database. This is the flat file that we have, the flat file database. And it's a file that shows, and let me switch here to a highlighter, uh, shows workers in a bank, uh, they have a code, a position, and, and you can you see that uh, some of them are managers, some of them are supervisors, and there's one assistant. The salary they make and the place where they work, the branch number, right? And finally, the branch address, like the, the address of the place they work and the phone number of the place where they work. So right off the bat, we can see that uh, we have two different things here. We have staff and details about the staff and the branch and the details about the branch and I'm actually going to change color for that so I'm going to let's do it in so staff and branch two different things all right so that those are already we can guess that those are going to be two different tables also, there's another uh, thing that's interesting here, which is the position, which is kind of like repeated. Uh, it's redundant. So we can, we can actually break that out. Right off, then, we have three entities. All right? We have the staff, the positions, and the branch where they work. So I'm going to start... Uh, working out how my tables are going to go okay so uh, i'm going to have a staff table staff table and that staff table is going to be table okay it's going to have a staff number it's going to have a name right uh, i'm going to be more specific staff name and it's going to have a salary that's like the main information that we have for uh, the staff okay and I'm going to just uh, quickly kind of like uh, format it here my staff number is actually going to be the primary key for my table all right and it doesn't show okay let me put it like that okay it's going to be my primary key so i can you know actually i can use a few uh, let's see that is my primary key there we go okay and then information about the staff then i have another one i'm going to break out the position table so a uh, position table and that one is going to have a position name. But because I only have that, that's all I have, I need to maybe create an ID. So position ID, okay? And I'm going to make my position ID, I'm going to make that my primary, um, primary key, I'm going to put the star in it okay finally the branch and I have three pieces of information for the branch so oh, um, let me highlight my position table okay so I'm going to do the branch and I'm going to do uh, branch table oh, table okay that branch table is going to have a branch number it's going to have a branch uh, address and it's going to have a branch tell number branch telephone number all right 
of course uh, so this is called the branch table and my primary key is going to be the branch number all right there we go now I'm going to build uh, the relationships between um, the tables that I have and the relationships are given by uh, how they are related here in my in my flat file so every worker has a position but positions can be repeated so uh, one worker has a position but a position can be assigned to many workers all right so that's what we call the one to many relationship one position can be assigned to many workers all right uh, we can see that um, if we take a look at this for instance uh, Tom is a manager uh, Mary Martinez is also a manager Sally Stern is a manager so the same position can be assigned to different people one to many so in order to build my relationship I need the foreign key uh, here uh, I need to create it so I'm going to create a position ID field okay and connect and I'm going to insert maybe a uh, what um, oh, here we go maybe something like this from from my primary key I don't like that hold on okay hmm. let's find okay so I'm going to create a, a, a relationship between the position ID and the position ID all right and next I have to make a relationship between the branch and the staff so many people can work in a branch so one branch can be assigned to many people like we see here for instance if we see uh, Tom works in branch one and Sally works also in branch one so the relationship is one branch can be assigned to many different people one to many so I'm going to uh, draw that okay but before I draw it I need to create sorry I need to create here a field oh, a field to receive that um, that relationship so I'm, it's going to be branch uh, number number all right notice it's this is actually really really important I'm going to recreate that uh, okay so that's not what I want okay let me do that again so sorry guys having a hard time using this right now okay so here we go position goes to position and then branch branch goes to branch Notice that relationships go, the way that we build relationships in Access is that we make the relationship um, between a primary key right here and a foreign key, okay? So this is going to be our uh, database structure. And now what we wanna do is build this in Access, okay? Um, sorry there we are so what we would like to do is build this in access now okay 
uh, I hope that this walkthrough kind of like uh, exemplified what we want to do when we say building um, building a relational database. Okay, so thank you very much, and I hope I hope it helps.